is no right or wrong. It's about trying find the silver lining, rain and fire, highs and lows, you name it. Cold and <sighs> so this package has just arrived. I'm so excited. I've got some new dining chairs to unbox with you guys. So this part of the video is in partnership with a company called Cost Valve, who are Amazon sellers and they specialize in modern, affordable furniture. They kindly reached out to me and asked me, do I want a set of the vintage four suede dining chairs? So I am super excited to open this box with you. I'm hoping as well that I won't have to build these chairs. <laughs> <laughs> because you know like I can just about screw a leg on so I'm hoping that is the case if it's not we're gonna have to unbox the chairs and then wait for hubby to come home to assemble them for us because everybody found the instructions and as you can see there the screws and things included in the assembly of these chairs and I am not even going to try and attempt it so we'll cut back to the chairs once hubby's got home from work and put them up together oh wow aren't they just beautiful as you can see hubby has kindly set up my dining chairs. Do you know what? I feel a little bit silly, not gonna lie. They were so easy to put together. It's just a little cap, a little screw where the legs go on, and then they provide this thing called an Allen key, and you just twirl it around like it's so easy. And yeah, I just feel a little bit silly now. Anyway, we got there in the end, didn't we, as usual, and um, yeah. So I've got a wonderfully clean table over here, and I can't wait to do an autumnal tablescape with you guys. And to finish it all off, we're gonna pop our new chairs, our new vintage four suede chairs, around the table. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair So here they are guys, in all of their vintage glory Okay, let me give you guys a close-up of these how stunning they've got these quilted padded design i just love the color it's almost like a brown four suede and then it's got this like mottled vintage effect with a little bit of rust in there which you know i just love it's very in keeping with my style i just love them they look super comfy they've got metal legs which were super easy to screw on as well and they've also got rubber on the bottom so they don't scratch the floor so that's good news when we're about to put the flooring in so i've got a set of four here you can choose the option of a set of six and they do them like i said in this gorgeous vintage brown or they've got a grey colourway as well so they're super affordable anyway at 139.99 Whew, thought I would have a little sit down after all that and test out the chairs. They're absolutely beautiful, but not only that, they're really comfortable as well. 
COS Valve have kindly given me a discount code for you guys. I will leave it on the screen for you now. I'll also leave the product information in the description box with all the discount codes and a direct link to the page. If you're interested in grabbing some of these chairs, highly, highly recommend. And again, a massive thank you to Cosvile for working with me on today's video. So as you guys saw, I only put two wine glasses out because it's just me and hubby for dinner tonight. I'm actually really excited because we're having roast duck. Now, it's not often I have duck, but when I do, it's always from the Chinese and we get crispy duck and pancakes. Have you ever had that? so bloody good i was doing the weekly shop this morning and i saw they had like a fresh whole duck you know like i would normally get the rotisserie chicken and i thought no have the duck go all out <laughs> we don't usually have anything else other than the chicken and i actually was gonna go and get beef today but then i saw the duck and i just thought you know what i'm gonna get the duck so yeah so here's my roast duck. We are getting our cook on this evening, guys. I love Sundays, don't you? I googled how to season a duck and it said, it said, it said to put on paprika, salt and pepper. So we've put a dusting of smoked paprika. That's what's in this jar on this duck. It's been in an hour already. I've put some olive oil on as well because I want the skin to be really crispy. We've got all the veggies. Obviously, we're not eating all them veggies, you guys. <laughs> um, and then we've got chocolate puddings. Sticky, hot chocolate puddings for, for afters. Super naughty, but needed after a roast dinner. And I've poured myself a nice glass of rosé to end the day. Cheers, guys. Good morning, everyone it's the perfect monday morning it's like throwing it down outside and it gives me all the feels because what a better way to spend a rainy day than to go shopping so this morning we're going to primark there's just a few like essential bits that i need to pick up from primark that's been on my radar also i've not been in store for a while and i want to see what's in store so i don't know if i'm going to film a shop with me video like a full-on shop with me video it'll depend guys on how much of a good how much good stuff there is in. If there's loads of new autumnal stuff in, then I'll film a full-on shop with me video. Who knows, I might even come away with a haul. <laughs> so I've done a nice big thick layer of fake tan so that can ferment and develop throughout the day today. Also, not doing much to the hair today because like I said, it is throwing it down outside and I'm sure we'll get wet in between the cars because... I park literally at the other side of town because it's free and I will walk in the rain to save myself that car parking money. Just call me Scrooge. So my loves, let's get out of bed and go shopping. How easy it would be to fall for you But that of course is something Cause we've agreed between you and me We're nothing more than friends How silly it would be to put this friendship to an end How crazy that would be Yet here I am Falling in love Again
picked up these comfy like bra sets this is a pack of three they've got this pink color which i'm not keen on but they do have this gorgeous well i don't know what color it's coming up like a mauvey purpley color on there like a plum but it's not it's more of a chocolate brown color 12 pounds for three which i think is really affordable they're super comfy like yeah i wish i could go braless i would all the time if i had the boobs for it unfortunately i do have boobs and i need support at all times i'm not gonna lie yeah these little tiny little grips let me get one out because they're so easy to get off and uh that's what they look like just these little gripper clips gripper Ooh. Try again just these little gripper clips and as you can see i've just pinned my fringe up because my fringe is growing out or trying to cut it myself it's starting to really grow out now i am actually ready for a six month cut because it's starting to look a little bit drab on the ends not too bad but it's getting there you know it's getting to that time where i need a cut so i might just book in for a haircut and i probably will cut the bangs back in i do love having the bangs and uh, especially now because princess kate has had her hair chopped what do you guys think about it i love it so she's had the, the 70s bangs put into her hair and i just think they're absolutely gorgeous i mean obviously she's copied off me because i've had the bangs for months now oh more essentials leggings it's really hard to find a pair of dark chocolate brown like almost black but not quite black chocolate brown leggings they had a plethora of leggings all black and black is just too harsh on me but yeah these are more of a wine burgundy deep burgundy color i'm gonna pop in an extra clip just so you can see the color of these because they're gorgeous so these were seven pounds and i just love this color with chocolate brown like together then again after primark i went into m s and they've got some really nice leggings obviously they're a bit more of a higher price point but i feel like the quality is the reason for that i might take these back if they're not what i'm looking for and i might just go to m s and buy myself some leggings in the color that i wanted originally which was the chocolate brown what else is in this bag Ooh, i did pick up a little shawarma wrap from m and i thought i'll treat myself i don't always buy my lunch from m and you guys i usually shop at lidl <laughs> i promise and um but yeah whilst we're out and about shopping it's nice to just pick up a nice little treat so i picked up this time the chicken wrap but this is a shawarma chicken wrap marinated british chicken pickled red cabbage chili sauce garlic dressing and spinach I've already had half of it. <laughs> so I also picked up my nails and then I picked up some blusher. My friends who film videos as well um, are going to know this, but if you just wear your normal face of makeup in front of a camera, it looks like you've got no makeup on. You really got a pile on the makeup. <laughs> but it's one pound. Ooh. Do you ever just feel like God is sat upstairs with the angels and they're all sat on the table, hear me out, and they're all like, oh, let's have a laugh today <laughs> with this one. Because sometimes, you guys, I just can't believe how ironic or sometimes when I'm having a bad day and it's just like one thing after the other, everything I touch drops and i just think you know someone upstairs is having a laugh okay <laughs> anyway oh oh i think that's it you guys apart from a little pot i went into the pound shop because they sell these you can't see it properly uh, oh see what i mean um they sell these little like oh no it's broke oh my god and that is the reason i went to get it oh that is so annoying <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it's the one who's definitely having a laugh today. Seriously, seriously though. Can't just have one in my collection. I need to have at least two. I'm a very symmetrical person, you see. So I thought, oh, whilst I'm in town, I'll just nip into the pound shop and see if they've still got these little dishes in. So then I've got a set of two. And I've got it home and look, it's broken. <laughs> oh. And I didn't even get a receipt because I did self-checkout and that's so... Mmm, this is delicious. Mmm. 
What a day it's been today, you guys. Do you like the clips for my hair? It's really nice, isn't it, to have my hair off my face for once. I feel like I've always got the same hairstyles, you see, because... I really like my hair down. I don't really do hair up. If I do hair up, it has to be half up, half down. And I feel like I've got that by putting these clips in here. Like I'd love to be that slick back bun girl, but I just look like an egg. Like my face is just not the right face shape for that. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> so an Alice band is my only option really when it comes to taking my fringe off my face. So these clips, I love them. So I did film a full shop with me video. I'm going to include it in a separate video for all the Primark lovers. So if you do want to see that, make sure you go and check that video out. Will it be before this one? No, it won't. It'll be the one after this one. So that's coming up. <laughs> it's really hard to gauge where we are with the scheduling and filming, etc. Anyway, this afternoon we have a DIY project. So let's go downstairs and get on with that. Okay, everybody. DIY upcycle time. So I have here a glass hurricane vase. So for the bedside table upstairs, I've been looking for in the charity shops and I just can't find anything the right size and shape. I actually did find one in Home Sense this morning, but it was 20 quid and I thought, 20 quid, I'm just not into spending that much on something I want to just mess with anyway when I've already got this hurricane vase that sat at home so we're basically trying to make this into a vintage looking rustic aged pot that's what I want so hence why I wanted to go and thrift one from a charity shop for like two and three quid because I know I'm going to paint it probably mess it up because you know what we're like so here we have some emulsion just some white emulsion paint to start with and I've got some bicarbonate of soda. So yeah, we're going to mix this bicarbonate of soda into the paint, which apparently I've read online gives it this like textured, gives the paint texture. We're going to paint a couple of layers on this. It'll probably need to be done over 24 hours for drying sake. And then we're going to maybe paint the pot in the colour that we want, like a aged looking pot. That's what we're going to try and do anyway. So... Here goes nothing. Well, hello. I've got bicarbonate soda, right? I don't even know how much of this we're putting in here, but we're going to put a lot in because I want it really textured, I'm not gonna lie. So let's mix it up and see what happens. Don't worry, guys. I've briefly, <laughs> don't worry. I've briefly seen somebody do this. Um, oh, it is giving it a texture as well. Let's put some more in. Oh, I feel like Neil Buchanan on Art Attack. <laughs> Who remembers Art Attack? I used to love Art Attack. I used to leg it on from school <clears throat> for Art Attack. Literally though, what a vibe the 90s were, you know, like to grow up in. What other TV programs did we used to watch? Oh, what was that one called? Where it was just like a massive inflatables. And I think there were two teams, gosh, how young. So I can just about remember this. And you just used to run ragged and I used to think, oh my God, I'd love to go in there. Because they didn't have no such thing as like playrooms then, you know, with all the bouncy castles and the inflatables, like you can take the kids these days, can't you? They didn't have any of that when we were kids. We saw it on TV. Um, what was the program called? I can't remember. Anyway, right, here goes. I think it's textured enough. And then it's probably gonna take a couple of coats, but I don't want it to be perfect anyway. It is texturising the paint, however, I'd prefer more texture. The more you put on, the more textured it looks. But I don't want to put too thick of a layer on to start with because I want it to dry quick. So we'll build the layers, okay? So there's only one thing for it. I've popped it here in the utility room to dry. I'm hoping it dries really textured. If not, when we do the second coat, we'll add more carb by carb of um, soda. And I don't have to leave it white, like textured white. I think that can be quite nice. Or will you see it? We'll have to test it upstairs on the bedside table, won't we? Um, or like a vintage old rusty something something so like all the browns probably some different colors you know, like it's muddy 
like it's like really old and rustic. <laughs> anyway, I know what I mean. Oh, ta-da! I found this Acer tree and that is exactly, I don't know if it's coming up very well on camera, it's coming up more red, it's more of a plum colour, not a plum colour, like a deep burgundy colour, I'm obsessed, aren't I? But I think that, next to the bedside table, with the bed and the linen on the bed frame, in the rustic textured vase, it's just going to look absolutely stunning. So, let's get the vase ready and then we can style my side at least. Also, I've not shown you guys in the utility for quite some time. We've not really done much in here, as you can see. It's just still a little bit plain Jane. We need to do the floors and things like that. But I'm starting to think about the extra styling pieces in this room. So up there above the window, we've got quite the space for a rail. Don't know if I'm going to attach it to the ceiling underneath because that's quite a large space or this section here along the top but I'm going to get a brass rail with the S hooks so that I can hang like my washing over the sink. Do you know when you're doing laundry and sometimes you have to let things drip dry like wool, knitwear and then like I've got a linen shirt literally hung there right now for that reason because um, you can't put it in the dryer. Well that will function really well either over the sink here or, or underneath the shelf here so that it's hanging over the um, dog wash. So I don't know what to do about that, but that's something I might want to add to this room. Do you know what, guys? We could jig around this shelf a little bit. It's looking a little bit um, unstyled, isn't it? I'm really uninspired looking at that right now. Maybe we could add some pumpkins to this area. Yeah, I've got a big pumpkin jar. We could put the washing pods in. Shall we do that now? I think so before we do that let me just quickly show you this so this is my little outside truck and it's got my little garden tools in and guys look <laughs> can you believe that straight out of the ground that is an onion that is also an onion homegrown guys these are all homegrown not by me unfortunately one day for sure but we've got leeks and onions look at these leeks they're all literally homegrown. I'm just letting them rest here. But basically, I can't tell you how excited it makes me that something homegrown comes straight out of the ground and then I get to chop it up and then cook with it and it goes straight on the plate, like knowing where your food is from. It's just magical to me, I don't know. Yeah, so I've been meaning to show you guys all the produce that we get given to us, luckily, from my father-in-law. He has a kitchen garden of his own and he's just started, I think, this year, but he grows some absolutely fabulous produce. And every week we come home with a bunch of stuff that's been homegrown. And it's such a shame because it never makes it to the vlogs because I'm always keen to use them up and they get used up straight away usually. These have to dry out, which is why they're still here and I can show you. But yeah, I'm cooking from fresh, literally, and it gives me so much joy. Yeah, so it's just this little pumpkin jar. It's still got some things in. We've got some bets, some freaking bets. <laughs> Bought these last year. These are the tools to carve a pumpkin. Here we are, we've got the pumpkin jar and I might just put the washing pods in this jar and then pop this jar on the shelf up there. in that cupboard and think I haven't got any left. Does anybody else do that? You know when you move something's location? <laughs> oh gosh. Do you know what guys? I'm feeling really autumnal today and it's really nice because I've been trying my best to feel autumnal. However, when you're trying to force it, it doesn't happen, does it? And 
like because we had a heat wave just not long ago and i can't forget about that <laughs> oh let's see what we're having for dinner this is not a hello fresh act <laughs> wish it were old mother cupboard old mother cupboard <laughs> and the cupboard was, was bare literally there's only me and Ash a lot of the time. Sometimes Joelle joins us. Look at this fridge already. I need to clean it out. Listen, we just started using it straight away, didn't we, when everything was up in the air. So we will do fridge organisation and things like that. It's not organised at all and it's quite bare. There's only me and Ash though. So to be honest with you, we'd probably just be using this one side. So that's quite a full fridge for us if we moved everything that's in there now to one side. That would be our normal fridge, fridge worth of food for just me and him, obviously. Oh, yes. So I'm going to have some ready to walk noodles and some sweet and crunchy stir fry. And then we have in here the shredded duck from yesterday. So we had roast duck. Hang on a minute, guys. Can you hear that? The fridge is telling me off because the doors have been open for too long. Let me just shut it and then open it again. <laughs> Sorry, temperamental things. Yeah, we had um, <clears throat> roast duck for the first time yesterday on our roast dinner and it was absolutely delicious. I have had it with the Chinese. So we get um, aromatic crispy duck and pancakes from the Chinese. Oh my God, that is stunning. And I just thought, why not have it on a Sunday roast for a change? So I saved half of it for today and I'm gonna have it with our um, stir fry. Do you remember this I got from Timu, the milk jug? Well, the insulated like, glass whatever was in inside it i undid the bottom it all slid out and smashed in the sink it's basically not fit for purpose anymore but my fault i smashed it so that's unfortunate the reason why it's still there is <laughs> i strategically put it there so that i can put my phone on there lean my phone on top of it and watch youtube videos i like to catch up on youtube videos whilst i'm cooking what a vibe. Sweet and crunchy stir fry vegetables, ready to wok noodles. We've got our shredded duck in here ready to go. And then let's go and see what other vegetables we can add to the mix. So I think we'll add some red onions in there as well. Me and hubby love onions. Actually, we'll do a garlic as well. So red onion, garlic, and then what sauces have we got? Oh, we'll definitely pop some ginger in there because I just love the ginger at the moment. We've got some hoisin sauce or we've got some teriyaki. I think we'll go with the teriyaki today. Good morning, everyone coming to you from the car first thing this morning i've been to costa and got a maple hazelnut latte so i think that's their new seasonal drink i keep hearing the advertisements about this so we're going to do a taste test together oh my gosh I've got lipstick all over it, but that is delicious. If you've not had one of these, I must say, obviously it's maple, maple syrup is really, really sweet. It's really, really sweet, but I love something sweet in the morning. Like it just makes that getting up that little bit easier for me. And obviously this is a treat. I wouldn't have this all the time. So we've just pulled up outside. What's it called? The British Heart Foundation. And they do lots of furniture shops so it's a charity shop british heart foundation charity so the money's going somewhere really good but they do a lot of vintage furniture old furniture house clearances things like that so it's a really good thrifting store i think i mentioned to someone in the comments i'm looking for specific pieces for the house so we're just going to keep looking keep thrifting until we find them I'm looking for a vintage dresser for the family kitchen room. I'm hoping for a really old vintage dresser of some sort or a sideboard. It depends. I'll know it when I see it. If I see a piece that I know will work there, I'll have to get it because obviously 
I'm also looking for trunks. Don't laugh right, but do you know the bottom of my bed? I want either a big seagrass storage trunk. Now, I know I can buy that on the market, but if I can get an old trunk, obviously not a Louis Vuitton trunk, because you're looking at thousands and thousands of pounds for one of them, that would be a dream. I'm looking for like a big trunk, storage trunk, that I can have at the bottom of the bed. I need it to be massive, because the bed is a super king. Yeah, it needs to be massive, and I want to dress it with... I want to obviously use it as a storage trunk, but I'd like to use it as a seat at the bottom of the bed as well. I can dress it with like throws and cushions and we can sit on it, put my shoes on, etc. It's a bit of a long shot looking for something like that in a charity shop because it's very, very specific, isn't it? Or something that would work like that. Maybe, um, what do you call them? A side bench, console, excuse me, console bench would work. If I see something that I think will work, that's what I'm looking out for today. And then I want like little things like uh, old vases, urn vases, just little vintage like knickknacks that we can um, style with. Oh, also looking for um, <clears throat> sofas. I'm going to drink my maple hazelnut latte <laughs> couldn't think of the name then and um yeah pay for parking because oh this is why i don't come down here because i hate paying for parking like if i can get away with paying for parking i will and it's about three pound fifty to park here and i'm literally just nipping into one shop it's extortion the world goes by and by the time it does you miss it you didn't see pieces in there that I'm going to keep in the back of my mind there was a storage trunk after saying all of that there was a storage trunk it was like a, a silver steel hard wearing storage trunk it had leather on the corners it was beautiful and I was just thinking would it be a bad idea to upcycle that one or shall we hold out for more storage trunks because obviously it's not the right color so but maybe we could make it into like a vintage um brass color using some paints and things like that obviously i don't want to be spending a fortune on something new do you know what i noticed as well all the x display furniture and all the new stuff you know like the modern furniture was so much money as you saw on the price tags yet the vintage beautiful items were going for cheap as chips <sighs> It's like it doesn't make sense anyway that's good for people like me and you isn't it so but what i did pick up was this oh my god how nice for a fiver this was a fiver i'll show it you more close up when we get home but it's got like gold it's like gold it's like a cream rustic looking vase and I don't even want to paint it. How good is that? Because I just love how it is already. It's got a tiny little chip in the top. I'll show it you when you get home. But you can't have enough vases. So the house is looking all fresh and new. Clean and plastered and white. And once we get all the furniture in. And we have some vintage items dotted around. It's really going to beautifully come together. So I saw this and I just had to have it for a fiver. What? A fiver. It's like massive. So off to the next one. I don't think she's very happy being naked. Why are they all naked? 
Oh my God, look at this one. If you watch the Barbie movie, guess who that is? <laughs> They're all bloody naked, bless them. Oh my God, look how happy she is to see me. She's like, save me, save me from this shop. <laughs> oh gosh. The nostalgia. And then here we have just a massive wall of all the old school toys and games. I feel like I'm back in my childhood, you guys. Can I get it? Amen. Oh my gosh, look at this fine china set. I absolutely love it. £25 for all of these, including the teacups. Where have these been made? In Staffordshire. Oh, they're gorgeous. Aren't they nice? Now this is a typical vintage tea set which is absolutely stunning you guys it reminds me this print i know it's fine china but it reminds me of the tall de Jouy print from dior and i just love it oh my gosh this is taking me right back to my childhood guys i used to collect these porcelain dolls and they're so freaking creepy like if that's not a haunted doll right there i don't know what is now they're really stunning and this is why i used to collect them obviously i was brought up by my grandmother hence my old oldie worldy things love of things but look how well she's dressed look at that it's so cute look at the outfit and the hair is in the ringlets and the hat is so beautiful however this is the kind of doll that comes alive at night. I used to have my nanny take them all out of my bedroom at night or else I wouldn't go to sleep. Okay, hi. <laughs> Again. <laughs> hi, me. <laughs> um, we've just pulled up at the local supermarket. Because it's raining, you know, I like to make all the stodgy foods and recipes when it's raining. So I'm making for us tonight a um, slow-cooked beef. I'm going to slow cook some beef and then I'm going to use it as a filling for a beef and onion pie with a, a nice crust over the top. Some lovely side vegetables and some really thick homemade chunky chips. As you can see guys, it's throwing it down. We've had a good morning. I feel like we've had a really good morning. I love thrifting. It makes me get me and all the feels. Anyway, we're going to go home. And this afternoon, we are going to light all the candles. We're going to get really cosy wozy. <laughs> so exciting. I might even put a film on this afternoon while we do some editing. Shall we just call this vlog the car vlog? The cosy car vlog. <laughs> because I feel like we've just spent the whole time in the car. Well, we have been shopping as well, haven't we? Anyway, let's go and get the dinner. So I got home like a drowned rat and got straight back into my pyjamas. I am so cosy. I've got the candles lit and I'm feeling a little bit snackish. And we're trying not to have a big lunch today because we're going to have that beef pie for dinner tonight. So I'm really looking forward to that. Mm. So I picked up the goods from Lidl. I got some kale because I love kale. It's really good for you. And I think it's full of like iron and stuff like that. These are really good for homemade chips because you can make really big, long homemade chips out of these. Love homemade chunky chips. I got some asparagus. I got some lean diced beef and I'm gonna slow cook that this afternoon with some pepper. And I usually do like gravy with a pie, just normal standard beef gravy. It has to be beef gravy with beef and chicken gravy with chicken, obviously. But next to the beef in the fridge, they had these peppercorn sauces. And I thought, hmm, might be nice to have peppercorn sauce for a change. And then obviously, you can't make a pie without a crust. So I get this ready to roll pastry. So I've gone for short crust today because like I said, it's raining and we want the real stodgy foods. However, I don't really eat pastry anymore because it gives me really bad indigestion and heartburn. It's gonna kill me later, but it's worth it now and again, isn't it? Okay, we are literally looking like the Go Compare advert man with this hairdo today. 
I've been rained on and everything today, so I'm not really bothered. So I'm going to leave the vlog here, you guys. I'm going to slow cook my beef and make dinner. You might see that in the next vlog because I will be starting the next one. Probably this afternoon, hopefully. We'll see. Oh, and we need to do a second layer of paint on the Hurricane vase as well for the styling of the bedside table. So with all that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.